Hey guys, Han Yolo, another beer video. And this time I got a Grand Cru Barrel Age Ale by Boulevard Brewing out of Kansas City, Missouri. I've had one other beer from them before. It was a Barrel Age Stout. Uh, I don't remember too much about it, but I'm excited to try this one. It is a limited release. It says 2018 uh, edition right there. Um, it is a 13.7 ABV uh, beer with 27 IBUs right there. And it says, uh, there's a best buy date on the bottle. I tried reading it, um, but it's really hard to uh, read what it says. It looks like it says June or January, January 2019. Uh, right there. You probably won't be able to see that on the camera, but let's get this into a uh, glass. See what it looks like, smells like, it tastes like. I do not have a beer bottle opener. Let me go grab them real quick. I'll be right back. All right, I'm back with the bottle opener. Uh, bottle opener. It says Bowie Brewing Company right there. Um, that was an epic fail on my end. I totally forgot I needed one of these, so, and this is actually, uh, I think I got this at a, an event. I forget uh, what event, but I'm pretty sure I got this at an event. And we got my Glencairn uh, glassware here that I got from Festival of Dark Arts 2017, as it says right there. Uh, decided to go uh, fancy, and it actually has the etching in there too, if you look. In the glass. Okay, maybe not. Uh, hopefully, I don't drop this. Here's the etching there. It says Glen Karen on the bottom. I uh, decided to go with the fancy glass this time for this beard because it's a huge beer and I just wanted to use this glass. <laughs> Haven't used it since uh, Dark Arts Festival, so just call that good. So I decided to just break it out, I guess. Uh, poured with, I'm gonna say, about just, I'm gonna say, close to a pinky of uh, khaki. Mocha, light mocha head. It dissipated very quickly. It's pretty much virtually gone. Uh, there's just a film of it now. There's just a ring of actually the foam when it was dissipating or uh, going away. It actually made like a weird, like, I guess, smiley face. Anyways, man, let's go get into the color. Uh, it's like a dark, dark uh, brown with a slight hint of red. So it's like, I guess, like a mahogany I suppose uh, it's like really really red uh, really dark red and brown uh, really deep and rich color man let's get into the nose not a whole lot else to say about this one. Oh man okay it's a lot a lot of caramel tons of caramel in this you actually get a lot of oak and a lot of bourbon too it smells very malty uh, I assume that it's gonna smell this way uh, just because of the style. I'm not sure what the blend is for this beer, by the way. I didn't really look up anything. And it just has been sitting out for approximately five minutes. Uh, not intentionally, I just left it out, went to do other things, got sidetracked and uh, just didn't get to it right away, I guess. But you get tons of uh, caramel, definitely malty sweetness is there as expected. Slight banana smell too. I'm de definitely getting slight bananas. And it kind of smells, it smells sticky, I guess. I mean, it smells sweet, but also like it's that, it's that kind of, it's that smell, that malt, multi sweet smell that you just kind of feel like it's going to be sticky. You kind of smell the stickiness, I guess. Um, I know that sounds weird that you can smell stickiness, but like to me, it's, it, it just smells. Uh, like it's gonna be very sticky as one of you. All right, man, let's, let's not smell it too much and uh, let's get into the taste, cheers. Wow, wow. Oh, I just got the chills too, it's crazy. This is amazing, man. This is, this is so damn good. <laughs> this is so good. This is so good. Definitely, you definitely feel the alcohol there on the back of the finish. So flavor-wise, you get a lot of caramel, a lot of toffee, slight, slight, slight dark chocolate. Alcohol burn is definitely creeping up there as I'm speaking. 
but you do get that. Oh my God! Oh God! I mean, it's like a beard. It just keeps giving. It just keeps giving, man. I. What is it? It's been like close to ten seconds since my last sip. About three seconds in, after it finishes, after I swallowed and everything, the alcohol burns coming still. You get slight milk chocolate with dark chocolate mixed in, and a touch, like just a touch of toffee and caramel, man. This is crazy. Oh my god. I'm kind of sad I only got one bottle of this. This is like seriously crazy. And you definitely get a lot of oak too in the finish, just like tasting what's left on my palate. You definitely get a lot of that barrel too. And it's slightly smoky, but it also has that like milk chocolate factor to it. It's like a smoky, oaky milk chocolate flavor that's like just lingering around your tongue and I legit got the chills man when I hit it when it hit my tongue this shit is just crazy oh my god and it is definitely sticky man it is definitely sticky this is crazy oh my god and this is definitely a sipper for sure this is something this is something you take like a little tiny sip a little swig and you just let the flavors develop on your palate as you uh, as you talk, or you conversate, or you just chill. You do something, reading a book. You know, just let that. Sorry, I'm just trying to. I'm trying to get that oaky, smoky, um, chocolate, caramel, toffee flavor again on my tongue. It is just crazy, dude. Like, this is definitely, definitely. One of the better beers I've had all year so far. Definitely, t I'm gonna say top three, man. But that's not too hard to uh, to pick either, because I've been having just a ton, a ton of IPAs, and having this beer in there is just like it just not it just you can't even compare IPAs to this because it's not even the same style, right? But this is just like such an amazing beer, man. Such an amazing beer. definitely get a lot of vanilla too. I'm getting the last I'm getting a lot of vanilla. Milk chocolate is definitely coming through again. I just wonder if this is going to develop even more so as it warms up or is it just or is it best drank at like a certain temperature. I'm sure there's a certain temperature that it's best at but like I wonder if it warms up more than what I'm drinking now if it'll turn and develop more flavors and become even better or is it going to be less amazing I guess um, I'm not gonna you know do all that on camera I might do it in the comments or I mean the uh, description when I upload this but vanilla oakiness bourbon definitely bourbon is all there excuse me caramel toffee dark chocolate milk chocolate um, what else uh, what else did I say earlier I don't remember but all that man all that is there and it just the alcohol, though it is strong, is 13.7, right? I think that's right. It's 13.7. Yes, yeah, 13.7 ABV. It's you can tell that it's a strong beer, but it's not. It's not like. It's not like it's overpowering. I guess like you definitely get the alcohol in there. Just like it's like the perfect amount of uh, alcohol taste on the palate that it doesn't make it like. It doesn't make it feel like you're drinking like straight liquor. Um, it's like very, very enjoyable. All right, man, I think this is like one of the longest videos I've uh, recorded so far and I didn't even say a whole lot. It was just like my reaction to sipping this, man. And I'm definitely gonna go back and hopefully to have more of this. I've gotten, I bought this like months ago. So hopefully to have more, I'm definitely gonna stock up, man. Um, and drink one, uh, maybe a year from now, I'll do like a, one year video or something but yeah man this is this is so damn good so good and look at that alcohol lacing right there um of course with my reaction in the video you should already know if you see this man highly highly recommend picking it up uh trade for it but i don't think anyone would just like have this i don't, I don't know it's kind of a weird style of beer to just have i guess um but i could be around it 
I mean, usually I'm just storing stouts and pretty much just stouts, barley wines. Um, but yeah, anyways, this is uh, Boulevard Brewing's Grand Cru 2018 version, 13.7 ABV, ABV. You guys like the video, give it a thumbs up, comments down below, subscribe for more videos, and as always, dream big dreams and believe all things are possible. Thank you for watching. Cheers.